Okay, Assalamualaikum and good day everybody. Today is our first day of class for the subject Basic Metal Work or BMW. How are you today? As we all know that safety is very, very, very important. Have you ever heard about safety first? Yes, we must take safety as our top priorities on all matter and today, we're going to learn about safety in a workshop. Okay, let's move on to the learning objective. First learning objective is describe safety regulations of workshop or workplace or machine shop. Second, apply safety regulation during practical work. Identify causes of accident. Last will be the practice a good housekeeping. The okay, next slide, we're going to know about the content. So we'll start with the introduction, causes of accidents, categories of safety in a machine shop, and also the safety work habit. Okay, let's move on with the next slide, causes of accidents. Accidents do not just happen, they are cause. It means that there will be a cause and effect of the accidents. So the cause of an accident can usually be traced to carelessness of a person. And accidents can be avoided and the person learning the machine shop trade must First, develop the safe work habits. Okay, let's see the categories of safety in a machine shop. In a machine shop, they will be divided into four general categories. First category will be the personal grooming. Second will be the housekeeping, securing the workpiece. And last will be the machining the workpiece. Although it will be impossible to list every safety rule or unsafe practice that a person may meet in each of these areas, some rules are offered. We go for the personal grooming. One, you should never wear loose clothing around any machine. Second, remove or tuck in a tie and roll up sleeve. To the elbow to prevent from getting caught in the machine and please remove any watches rings or bracelets these can get caught in the machine and the long hair those with the long hair must be protected by a hair net or an approved protective shop cap remember one of the most common accidents on a drilling machine and other machines is long, unprotected hair becoming caught in the revolving drill. And one should remember always wear approved safety glasses or goggles when operating the machine. Be sure the glasses are clean and in a good condition. Always put on a proper shoes. Wear the safety shoes. No slippers are allowed in the workshop. Okay, next will be the housekeeping. Poor housekeeping has resulted in countless numbers of accidents in a machine shop. However, Good housekeeping will not only provide safe working conditions but also improve the efficiency of the job by always stop the machine before you attempt to clean it and always clean the machine. Do not place tools, any materials on the machine table and revolving part. Put them somewhere near the machine and safely. 
keep the floor free from oil and grease. Grease and oil on the floor can cause dangerous falls. Sweep up the metal chips on the floor frequently. They become embedded in the soles of the shoes and cause dangerous slippage if a person walks on the terrazzo or concrete floor. A scraper should be used to remove these chips. Next category securing the workpiece. Before you handle any workpiece, remove all burrs and sharp edges with the file. Do not attempt to lift heavy or odd shaped objects which are difficult to handle on your own. Never start a machine until you are sure that a cutting tool and machine parts will clear from the workpiece. Use the proper wrench for the job and replace nut with worn corners. Okay, machining the workpiece. Please ensure you know how to stop a machine before starting it. Ensure all machine guards are in position. Switch off the machine immediately if anything goes wrong. Isolate a machine before making any adjustment. Do not attempt to operate a machine until you know how to use it correctly. Okay, let's go with the personal grooming. Okay, this is the picture. Okay, okay, you can see that on your right is the safe and the other side will be the wrong and dangerous. It start with the hair until the toes. Okay, you see on your right is the right and safe with the short hair, sleeve tightly rolled, buttons or fasten, overalls correct length and safety boots or shoes. All these are the right and safe. Unlike the other side will be the wrong and dangerous with the long hair, sharp tools on the pocket, button is missing, loose cuff, hole in the pocket, overalls too long, and shoes lightweight. Okay. Okay, look at the, the poster here. In our workplace, humor is appreciated. Horseplay is reported. So means that during the working place, you cannot play in the workshop. And then jewelry can cause deadly entanglements. Don't be easy and easy catch. So please remove all your jewelry. When you carry tools, obey the safety rules. Next, don't let your hair down around rotating machinery. Keep it tight or use a cap. And cause lost time days because of the playful. Next will be the operating the machine. Okay. Make sure useless or toothless or busted worn out tools can, can't be trusted. Don't use any fault tools. Caught between steel and a hard place. So inattention can be disarming. So you should be focused on your work. Put away your damaged tools for good. All the damaged tools Please isolate them. Okay, when you deal with a sharp tool, please be careful and be a safer tool. Guard against man-eating machines. It means that you must have 
a machine guard during operation and machining the workpiece. Okay, first know the rules before using the tools. Use it safely if you got the power. If machinery isn't guarded, it shouldn't be started. Be in control before you push go button. And inspect often to prevent a fatality. So damage equipment should be inspect quite often. Okay, let me move to the housekeeping. To get down to the nuts and bolts of safety, keep them off the floor. Make sure you keep all the tools, the nut in a safe place. Housekeeping means safekeeping. A tidy work environment is a safety requirement. Don't let Poor housekeeping earn you a bad rap. Good housekeeping is a straight line to safety. Be in control of your workplace. Put tool bags in their proper place. Okay, safety work habits prevent accidents. A safe worker or student should 1. Learn the safety regulations and precautions for each tool or machine. Second, develop a responsibility towards himself. Third, always be neat and tidy. Fourth, learn to consider the welfare of his fellow workers. Fifth, derive satisfaction from performing work accurately and safely. And last, report any accident. Okay, as a conclusion, first, safety re regulation. So you must know about the safety regulation. Second, identify cause of accident or unsafe act. You should be able to identify if there any accident or unsafe act. Safety is everyone's responsibility. It means everybody should take their part for the safety. And your safety and well-being are of utmost importance to your instructors. Practice good work habit. Okay, look at the picture there. So before you do anything, Think before acting. It costs you nothing and may save you from a painful injury that could otherwise result in permanent disability.